in learning objective three, we're going to uh, calculate the present value of an annuity. A couple questions we want to ask when we're doing these problems. Number one, do we have an annuity, same amount each month or same amount each year? And if yes, we can use the present value annuity formula. Are we discounting to the left or compounding to the right? Uh, if we're discounting to the left, we're going to use the present value annuity formula. It was an annuity, it's the same amount each period. So whether it be your rent, your rent is an annuity, you pay the same amount each month. Your car payment may be an annuity, you pay the same amount to the financing company each month. Your mortgage uh, is, is generally an annuity, you pay the same amount to the bank on your mortgage loan for your house each month. Um, maybe same thing with your credit card bill, you may make it an annuity by paying the same amount each month. Uh, others may pay it off, in which case it would not be an annuity. What are the present values of these annuities? Is there a simple formula I can use? Certainly I could take each cash flow separately and bring them back to today um, as we did in session five, but since they're the same, we can reduce the mathematics a little bit. Annuity is a series of constant level cash flows occur at uh, the end of each period for some fixed number of periods. As I said, home mortgages, car loans, uh, rent, and so on might be uh, considered an annuity. So the present value annuity, PVA, is equal to C times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the T, all of that over R. So we have uh, the equation that gives us a reduced format, less chance of making errors, especially if we have a lot of years to be able to calculate um, either the present value of the annuity, constant cash payment, like a mortgage payment, uh, at a certain rate for a certain time. We can also solve for R and T uh, if you need to. Again, understand the mathematics first. Be able to plug this equation into a scientific calculator and solve using a scientific calculator. Third, be able to plug the uh, numbers into a, a business calculator like TI, BA2+, or HP10B. Uh, and then finally be able to plug this information into Excel in, in the hard mathematical format. So in, in other words, be able to plug this formula into Excel with all the uh, attendant parentheses and so on to do it exactly the way you need to do it. And then also plug it into Excel using the advanced Excel functions that will calculate these variables for you very, very quickly once you know the syntax. Let's look at some examples of annuities. Again, I'm going to rename this present value annuity formula. Maybe we're going to call it the mortgage formula, the bank loan formula, the car loan formula, the credit card formula, the student loan formula. We can use this equation to uh, do calculations that are very important to us in our personal life. Uh, you want to go buy a sports car. This sports car will um, cost you $632 per month. So it should be a pretty fancy sports car, one would think. Uh, you call up your local bank and they want 1% per month for 48 months. Can you afford this Porsche 911 or uh, a BMW uh, M Series? Um, Mercedes Benz, is that what you're going to get for your money? Well, let's plug it in and see what we can um, borrow today, which is the present value annuity formula. If I pay a constant $632 per month, present value annuity equals C times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the T, all that over R. So I plug in for C, $632. For rate, I put in 0.01. That is the monthly uh, interest rate for 48 months, which is T, and I divide that all by 0.01, and I get present value annuity of $24,000. Not exactly going to buy me a Porsche, a brand new Porsche, or a uh, Mercedes-Benz like I thought I was going to drive. Problem is, this is a very high interest rate at uh, more than 12% per annum. Again, it's 1% compounded monthly, so it's, we know it's going to be more than uh, 12%. So again, you have to be careful, and the thing driving this one is uh, the high interest rate. Again, at a very much lower rate, we'll be, we will be able to buy that um, uh, Porsche or BMW for $632 a month. Uh, another example, a college student example, you go to uh, Cancun on spring break, senior frogs, and you uh, put $1,000 on your credit card. You have such a great time, you overspent. You overspent your budget, you end up putting some of your expenses on your credit card. You come back to Happy Valley and you come back to reality and you know that you can only afford to pay $20, the minimum, each month. Uh, credit card rate is 1.5% per month. How long will you need to pay off your $1,000. Will it get paid off very quickly? Uh, again, I'm going to use the credit card equation, the present value annuity equation, C times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the T, all of that over R. The rate is 1.5% per month. Present value that I borrowed, the, the amount I borrowed is $1,000. That's PVA. And my payment uh, C is $20. How long will it take me? 
So very simple, 1,000 equals 20 times 1 minus 1 over uh, 1.015, which is your rate to the time, and in this case I'm solving for t. I use the, take the natural log of both sides and I find it takes me 93 months to pay off this $1,000 spring break extravaganza if I can only come back to reality and pay $20 per, twenty per month. Ouch, eight years it takes. 93 months, 7.75 years to pay off their credit card. So be very careful with your credit card spending. Um, budget enough money when you go on these fabulous vacations and make sure you understand the interest rate you're paying on that credit card, which in some cases can be very, very high. Again, use present value annuity formula to calculate mortgage loans, car loans, credit cards uh, payments, student loans, and so on. Use it to your advantage.